Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. This video is part explanation how we work, in part me showing potential clients and existing clients the two ways we can ask you questions when we have questions on your account. So I'm just going to use my example QuickBooks file, just my my demo file here. Typically what happens is we'll go through and we'll organize your books and we'll do everything that we can do based on the scope of work we've discussed. There are going to be times that we have questions that we need to ask the business owner stuff. Rather than bombarding you with a bunch of emails, we try to organize our questions. What we typically do is create a Google Sheet like the one you see here, put our questions in on the left hand side, some extra notes a little bit over here on the right, and then let the client update it on the far right with any questions or responses they have for us. This requires that the client have a Google account so that we can share this document with their Google account. We're not creating a link that anybody can access. We're sharing it specifically with the client's email. This works for most of our clients, but for some people, they need a reminder of the questions we have, or they don't necessarily want to log into a Google Sheet. They would rather have a portal. So I wanted to show you the plan B or the other option I have for you. The other option we have for you is we can send you questions via Keeper. This is what it looks like in the client side when you want to log into Keeper. You'll see across the top a summary of any sort of questions that we're asking of you. Then you can kind of see it down below with each of the menu items. There's a place for you to drag and drop documents. Let me take you to the questions since that's kind of the reason I'm making this video. There are transaction questions. This is going to be a situation where we're looking at a specific transaction and we have a question about that. This is what it looks like. It says, okay, there's no payee. It's checking one, two, three, four, four hundred and fifty dollars positive, meaning deposit. The question is just, what is it for? You as the business owner can just write a reply over here. You can say it's a loan or it's a sale or whatever, just whatever works for you. So it goes from the unanswered to the answered. If you want to add more comments, you can add more comments. You can see that they're just updating over here. Okay. So then there's non-transaction questions. This is just me. I put miscellaneous demo miscellaneous question. It's going to be stuff where we might have a question for you about something. A good example of that might be us asking for a bank statement. If you have any questions for us, and it doesn't have to be questions, it could be miscellaneous FYI. You can pop it in here and say, um, just wanted to let you know, whatever, add an attachment, don't add an attachment, and then mark it as a question. On our side, when we go to log in to Keeper, we're going to see a list much like you see a list. It lets us keep everything organized, just like the Google Sheet keeps everything organized. Instead of deleting the rows when we no longer need them, we just mark them as closed. I don't have a strong preference um, for which portal or which method we use to ask questions of our clients. I think as time goes on, Megan and I might decide that we're going to go one way or another. But right now we're just kind of in the experimenting, thinking about it phase. So I'm putting together this video to share with people, but also in case you're another bookkeeper kind of looking at and thinking about how am I going to get my questions asked and answered? This might be helpful just to give you a bit of information about Keeper. Okay, that's it. Any questions, leave them below. Thanks. Bye.